Hello everybody, we continue our course. We discussed now what is smartness in a urban system. We talk a lot about smartness. What is smartness? We hear every day something about smart city, smart building, smart house, smart car, smart TV, smart watch, smart sensor, etc. We use the word smart a lot of time in the advertising does it mean the same thing does it have a concrete scientific meaning in all of these definitions when we talk for example about a smart city most of time we talk about something in the city we talk about a subsystem of the city when we talk about smart tv we talk more and more about the interaction, the facilities that this device give to the user. When we talk about a smart sensor, we talk more and more about the communication between this sensor and the automatic device, for example, or with the Internet of Things. So the word smartness does not have a very precise meaning on all these definitions for this reason we should pay attention when we use the word smart with some object we talk about electronic government does the meaning of electronic government match with smart government we don't use a lot this term but we use smart city it is a question related to the adver advertising. For this season, we should discover what is behind this smartness. What do we mean exactly by smart car, by smart house, by smart sensor? Uh, when we talk about small world or about small sensor, then small world, small TV, why we don't talk about a smart world? It is because there is no one who will buy a system for the smart world it is a question of media so we should pay attention to the difference between the scientific term and the advertising term in the media if we look at to a dictionary like uh, Cambridge dictionary you will find that smartness is mainly a human quality it is not an, a, a quality for an object Yes, in the metaphor, we can use, we can genera genera generalize this using in order to use it in the objects. We can say smart objects, but smartness, it is a human quality. It is related to the interaction of the human with the environment or with other human. If he can think quickly, if he can, he could, he can uh, have a, a, has a good reaction with the environment, if he can find a smart solution, an optimized solution, if he can uh, facilitate the cooperation with the, with the environment, we can say that he is smart. In this uh, domain, we should pay attention to the difference in English between smart and intelligent. When we talk in French about a smart city, we, we say ville intelligente. In English, it is not the same meaning but in this course we will not enter uh, a lot in these details so smart city in english it is ville intelligent in uh, french what is smartness what is smartness when we say that a human is smart or stupid even a stupid people they have different degrees of smartness so but we talk when we talk about an, an object the object is not we cannot say really that as an object is smart because we inject the smartness inside there is someone who inject the, the smartness inside it is a question that is related to the understanding of the environment what is a smart object when and 
one and which object is smart what is a smart system so we will give you i will give you uh, five minutes to discuss about i will give you five minutes uh, to discuss about this topic hope you will stop the video and to discuss between your group about this issue after five minutes we will continue So we will continue now. We will uh, try to discover where the intelligence reside. Is a magnet, for example, a smart object? Yes. Is it or not? I think most of you will say to me that it is not a smart object. But if we develop the context in which we use this magnet, we can put this magnet in a circuit. This circuit is a simple electric circuit that could be switched on or off using a small piece of metal and this magnet will attract this metal, this piece of metal and it will close the circuit so the magnet can switch on or switch off the circuit why we where we will use this small device we will use this device in the window or in the door we will put a magnet for example in the mobile part we will put it in the in the door and in the frame of the door we put the circuit in such way when we will close the door when the clo door is closed the magnet is near the circuit and the circuit is closed so it is switched if we have a light if it will be switched on when the door is open when we open the door when the door is opened the circuit will be opened also and that the light will switch off so in such way we will use this magnet to discover if the door is open or if the door is closed so it is more interesting than a simple magnet we find a field in which we can use this magnet if we use this circuit in order to switch on or off the light, if we use this circuit in order to see, send a signal to our mobile phone, for example, so we can discover from a distance if the mobile, if the door is open or if it is closed. It is, it is the magnet, the main element in this circuit. Who decide if the door is open or if the door is closed so we have an, uh, an, an important information from this magnet in the same way we can use the magnet also we can use the magnet in order to calculate the consumption how we can do that for example we have a water meter we have a water meter a traditional water meter each time when one liter is consumed we put a type of disc with with one coin we we we, we put around this uh, uh, disc we put a magnet also each time when the magnet the magnet is turning with the disc so each time when it comes near an electrical circuit it close on it, it switch on or switch off the circuit so the circuit can send also an information about one liter that is consumed each time when we consume one liter the magnet will close the circuit and the circuit will, will send an information to tell us that one meet, one liter is consumed so we can use that magnet in order to calculate the consumption 
in both situations, the magnet is used to generate data. What we will do in this data? We can put them in some context, in, in an information system, IS, that means information system. So we will put this information in some context, in some scenario, to discover the meaning of this data. So, in, from the information system, we will have an information about some situation, about some condition. We will know if the door is open, if it is closed, if we consume a lot or if consume not a lot, if, if the, someone uh, used the water in the building or not. So, we'll have information. And this information will help us to, in a, a functional context. So, they can help us to improve the security, to improve the comfort, to increase the optimization. It helps to share information about building, about neighborhood, about our city, etc. So we have a magnet, yes, but how we use it here where the smartness resides. I will give you another example. I will give you another example about switch, traditional switch. Also, we can use this switch to turn on or off a circuit, but also when we turn off the circuit and when we turn on the circuit, we can have a lot of information system, a lot of useful information system that are, that may be used for in our context for our goals so i will give you also five minutes and you will try to imagine how many information how much information can we get from this switch i give you five minutes after that we will continue if you are following the video stop the video for five minutes try to discuss with your group about the smartness uh, that may be reside in the system in which we will use the switch and we will continue later. Dear student, I think you have a good idea about where and when we can use the switch, how many information can uh, we obtain from this switch, we can obtain, for example, the date and the time in which we switched on or off this switch. We can have an idea about the duration. We, if we know where, why we use this uh, switch, we can correlate our information with the goal of using of this switch. I want to say, for example, if we use this switch to switch on or off the light, we can have an idea of if the weather, if the, it is cloudy or the, if it is sunny. If it is sunny, most of the time we will not use the switch to turn on the light. If we switch on the light during the night, that means someone, someone get up to do something, for example. How we can use this switch in a smart context? We can, for example, I, I, I heard a scenario in one village in Europe in which all these switches in a, a house for elder people are registered and they send signals every time when we switch on or off this uh, switch, this button. And when, when we analyze the data, we can identify the profile of each user. So we can know, for example, that every day there is the one elder man get up at seven o'clock, between seven and eight o'clock. So if one day the switch didn't, does not send 
uh, signals between 7 and 8 o'clock, that means there is some problem. Perhaps this elder man is sick. So we can simply, we can, we can do something that is very easy. We can send a message to the neighbor of this elder man in order to knock at his door and to know what happened. So it is a simple using. One elder man, we, ha we can have the information about his inhabited when he get up, when he switch on or off the light. If there is something abnormal, we can inform one of the neighborhood to know what happened. It is very easy and very social. So if we talk about urban and information system and smartness, most of time we talk about smartness in a system. One object, we cannot discover the smartness of the object if it is not in a context. If, it is, if we don't know the interaction between this object with other objects and the internal interaction of the uh, component of this object. For this reason, it's better to talk about the smartness in a system. So, if we talk of, about the smartness of a system, that means we talk about a component in a system and, and some relationship between this component and where sm the smartness reside. Smartness, we can say that Smart is related to the goal of the system. We should precise the goals of our system and we should define the relation, we should discover the relationship between the component of this system and the relationship between this system and the outer environment. So there is many things related to smartness regarding a system. There is the goals of the system there is the goals of the system, there is the interaction between the component of this system in order to achieve its goals, and there is the interaction with the outer environment. So how this system achieves the, 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 its goals, this is very important. But I will emphasize in this uh, idea. At the end, it is a human who generates this smartness. So, if we have in, in an artificial system some smartness, for example, in, if we discuss about a car, smart car, that means there is a human who designed this car. And there is a human as a user, as a driver, who will say if this car is smart really or not. So it is the human who put the smartness and who evaluate the degree of a smartness in, an, in a system or in an object. So in a system, the smartness is related to the goal of the system. It is related to the relationship between the component of the system. It is related to the inter interaction between this system and the outer environment. If we talk about a smart car, for example, if it reduces the consumption, we can say that is a type of smartness. It is related to internal environment of the car. If we discuss about the driver, so if, it, it, if the car facilitate, facilitates something related to the driver, for example, there is a lot of camera that facilitates driving, we can say also there is a type of smartness in, in this car. Uh, 